On this wonderful day, we celebrate our history, our heroes, our heritage, our great American flag, and our freedom. Happy 4th of July to everyone. All Americans living today are the heirs of this magnificent legacy. We are the descendants of the most daring and courageous people ever to walk on the face of the earth. We inherit their towering confidence, unwavering enthusiasm, their unbridled ambition, and their unrelenting optimism. This is the untamed spirit that built this glorious nation. And this is the spirit that burns brightly within the soul of every American patriot. That is why we pay tribute to generations of American heroes whose names have etched on our monuments and memorials and in the pages of history and in the hearts of a very grateful people. We will never allow an angry mob to tear down our statues, erase our history, indoctrinate our children, or trample on our freedoms. We will safeguard our values, traditions, customs, and beliefs. We will teach our children to cherish and adore their country so that they can build its future. Together we will fight for the American dream and we will defend, protect, and preserve American way of life. Whenever our way of life has been threatened, our ancestors have responded with the same resounding answer as those first patriots who fought for independence. We are Americans and we never back down, we never give in, and we never give up, and we will never yield defense of our nation. We love our nation. We will only fight to win. Today we thank God for the gift of life and for the blessing of liberty. We honor the legends of our history, the glories of our founding fathers, and the giants of the past, the heroes of today, who keep us safe, who keep us strong and proud, and who keep us free. 1776 represented the culmination of thousands of years of Western civilization and the triumph of not only spirit, but of wisdom, philosophy, and reason. And yet, as we meet here tonight, there is a growing danger that threatens every blessing our ancestors fought so hard for, struggled, they bled, Secure. Our nation is witnessing a merciless campaign to wipe out our history, to fame our heroes, erase our values, and indoctrinate our children. Once again, happy July 4th to all. Our country is in great shape. Our military has never been stronger. And many, many good things are going to happen. Next year will be one of the greatest years we've ever had. I want to thank our men and women, they are so good, of the National Park Service, Air Traffic Control, and the United States military. God bless you. God bless our heroes. God bless America. Americans are the people who pursued our manifest destiny across the ocean, into the uncharted wilderness, over the tallest mountains, and then into the skies, and even into the stars. We are the country of Andrew Jackson, Ulysses S. Grant, and Frederick Douglass. We are the land of Wild Bill Hickok and Buffalo Bill Cody. We are the nation that gave rise to the Wright brothers, the Tuskegee Airmen, 
Harriet Tubman, Clara Barton, Jesse Owens, George Patton, General George Patton, the great Louis Armstrong, Alan Shep, Elvis Presley, and Muhammad Ali. And only America could have produced them all. No other place. We are the culture that put up the Hoover Dam, laid down the highways, and sculpted the skyline of Manhattan. We are the people who dream a spectacular dream. It was called Las Vegas in the Nevada Desert. Who built up Miami from the Florida Marsh and who carved our heroes into the face of Mount Rushmore. Americans harnessed electricity, split the atom, and gave the world the telephone and the internet. We settled the Wild West, won two world wars, landed American astronauts on the moon, and one day, very soon, we will plant our flag on Mars. We gave the world the poetry of Walt Whitman, the stories of Mark Twain, the songs of Irving Berlin, the voice of Ellen Fitzgerald, the style of Frank Sinatra, the comedy of Bob Hope, the power of the Saturn V rocket, the toughness of the Ford F-150, and the awesome might of the American aircraft carriers. Americans must never lose sight of this miraculous story. We should never lose sight of it.